Right, so today's job is pissing it down. I'm set up here, Asher's van's just the other side, but we're gonna leave our tackle inside. This is Asher's tackle. We're gonna, we're gonna leave that inside here. I've gotta shoot off and do a boat tomorrow anyway, so you'll probably see that video before I do this one. Um, but this is gonna be a few weeks worth of work. We've got, we've got steel work. We've got all the steels to do in here. Um, there's this floor and another two. So we just gotta brighten these up here. I'm gonna smash that back to back to metal, but it looks like roof's leaking to me, so that's still wet. There's no I can do about that. It's gonna tinge off, but it is what it is. He got told to button roof up. We've been waiting nearly two weeks now for him to button roof up, so we've gotta get something done because it's just on hold. And I can't book no tin while this job's still sat here. Ash is gonna start down there in that corner. There's some scaffolding, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'm going to use ladder, I'll be alright off at ladder, um, yeah, should be alright, uh, we're all set up, but what a lovely pad this is, I'll just get a shot on outside and then you can see what, and there's some more up there that need doing, and I think staircase needs doing and all, but we'll see, see how that gets on, right, I'm going to crack on, yeah, check these out, lovely little stickers, Stick it back up and all. Yeah, and it Hey, that's day number three done. Um, look at this. Hey. What's I reckon, Ash? Oh, it's cold. I reckon it's cold and all. Looks like we, uh, we're calling it off. I'm only at Ender Arbor, well, near Ender Arrowhead, and there's uh, vans being slided. ABS Leet were coming on on roundabouts. It don't like setting off. It's just, just don't like towing. It's too shit today. It was cold yesterday, but today is a little bit even colder. So I've put my padded trousers on and my long johns. That's, this is day, this, a bit, this would be day four. We've hardly made any progress. We've hardly done all. Right, Ash can't... Ash can't get to me today because it's snow and um, this is on south south side of weather warning. Um, it does say that it's getting worse on north and that's where we're travelling. We're going north and uh, it's, I don't think it's going to be a good idea risking going up that way to be fair. It does say that it's going to stop mid-morning but it's quite a trek and it's using a lot of diesel to get there so I don't want to risk, well I don't want to, I don't want to waste a trip through and not be able to get into the building because it's on a quite a steep slope. There's a, um, there's a what I call it, there's a bit of a, a bit of a path that goes up and there's a sharp bend and then I've got to try and turn van and trail around near there so it's um it's if that's got snow on it i don't think i'll make it up that hill anyway so we could even get all that way we could probably possibly make it all that way and then end up uh, not being able to get into a job so 
It's Friday anyway, I think we're going to get a miss. Well, Ash is not bothered about coming because he can't get to me, so... I was still tempted to go in on my own. It's like he's just text while I'm eating my breakfast. I went for a Mac, he's, uh, he's just text saying, well, don't be, don't, 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 well, take it steady, don't be bashing vinyl pot compressor. It's just to go steady, and I'm like, well, I might as well just go back to bed for a couple of hours, because the last few shifts have been a bit tired in anyway. I'm tired. Right, we've got some running repairs. Um, compressor's not quite powerful enough to support both of us, both pots. It's not revving. So I've come to diagnosis that it's lift pump that's on its way out or close to. It's, run, it's ticking over as soon as you demand like one, because we're both running two pots, we've nozzled it down so that we're both running equal amount of air, which is 200 TFM each. 220 CFM each, so we're, we're well, there are the other bars anyway. Um, well, nozzle is nozzles that we're running, its minimum airflow is 192 CFM at 100 psi. So we are dropping a little bit, we do drop a little bit of psi, but we're both running 200 ish CFM. And uh, yeah, compressor's just not revving up, it's not getting us full revs so as soon as we're both on air both demanding air it's just not not revving up so the only suspect thing on it is lift pumps got a little bit of diesel le weeping from underside of it and I checked oil and oil were on slightly high side so I'm presuming that it's lift pump that it's sneaking past it's, it's bleeding a bit of diesel into engine oil I hope it's that reason why that it's, it's slightly high on oil. But uh, we're gonna. I'm just on my way through to Dusan now because it's not far away from this job that I'm on. I'm gonna go grab a go grab a lift pump. I've left him blasting. It's enough for one man, so he's still in there blasting, and uh, I've got a 40 minute drive to get to Dusan. I'm hoping that it's lift pump that's just not priming enough diesel up to, and that could have been. A, a telltale part of why it was well, its first problems. If you follow the channel, you'll understand that I've had a bit of bother with this machine when I first got it. And when I serviced it, it kind of solved all them problems. But today, it said a, it's well, it said a good good week and now, well, it said over a week. It said a, it said a fair bit of work like now, and it's. I'm presuming that it's. I'm presuming that it's diesel that's. Uh, lift pump that's not getting enough diesel up to filters. We're bleeding past an oil slightly high. I do know that I'm going to need to change oil on it as well, so it's only just had an oil change, but I'm going to have to get another one. Right, it's this thing here that's causing bother. I've just I've just taken this out, but this were loose, so I don't know if it were that that were causing it problem. But it is leaking anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna what I call it. I'm gonna change it now. I've got one anyway. Just set the hassle on it. Is it on seat? Yeah, until we find another one. Wrong size is this Yankee stuff. I bet they, that's all it was, I know. That feels loads better though, this pump. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I tried it, I did open it. That's another knuckle, that, isn't it? There's a knuckle on that there, looks of it. Ain't that right size, I don't think. Nope. size. 17, I think. That's usually injectors are, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. And then... What's them there, them, them bolts for teens? 13, yeah. Start getting the uh, 13 on socket. Oh, there's a thing on back at what I call it. On back at step at van. 
Yeah. It's, I've had to use it's little, I'll use little ratchet on it because I, I don't know where that big one's gone. I've lost it somewhere. Tell someone has got it warm. I think I should crack it there and all. Just make it a bit easier for me, Sam. some weight off the pipe so it'll pull out. Nope. I'll have to take pipe off. I'm not some try though. Or at least get it slack. I don't want to drop my belt back in here. That's diesel coming out anyway. It's that. Move that out there for now. Right, two for teens. I think they're for teens. They'll be daft sizes, wouldn't be American stuff. Oh, they're tight. Oh, it's gone. They've been dogged up before. I bet that's original with black paint on it and all. It's not been bad, has it? Well. 14 in it. Oh Jesus, that's tight. Oof. I'm going to say I don't know if it looked ratchet, but give way then, aren't they? What's going on with no gas yet? Right? That's what I was hoping for it to come with all its kit. I don't want to drop a bolt. That engine's hot. Who knows what will have gone though? No, when I said oh, oh what a bit high this morning. Yeah. I bet it's weep diesel through it. Oh, it's spring loaded this one. I bet it's on cam. And that's. Yeah, yeah, I never thought of that. I've never thought about it weeping diesel into oil. Going past, going past its seal. Yeah. I thought that looked a bit suspect though, do you know, when, it, when I was getting it and it was a bit wet down here. Yeah. It is, it's on cam, I can see it. I'm not going to get that in, I don't think, it being on there. We'll have to just compress lever and get one bolt. Or oh, no, if you take one bolt out, put it in like piss and then, and then twist it. So I'm going to try and hold it there, it's on cam, it's not going to let me do it. I think. That's what we can do, can't we? No, we can't shove it down, can we? Only thing you do is tape engine. It's going to spit oil all over though, now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Might, well, I don't think it'll work, lose a lot if you just flick it. But if it starts. I can't get it on. It sits on top, doesn't it? Is there enough room for it to go in at all? Oh, it's got a good arm. Ooh. If you push the thing, lever it'll move it that's what i'm trying to do i've got my finger on it no oh lever up front yeah, yeah. i have to flick engine over <coughs> go on and get it oh wait what? a minute is that is no. that just spring to keep it up and then it's got to sit inside that back there yeah. oh yeah bag it, that's hot I think cams out too far. It is. It's just fire engine round. Oh, is that what we can do? Is there anywhere we can turn? We can't turn it, can we? You can get a spanner on a belt pulley or something. You're about to turn I it. I can't get to it for all guards. Not going to get to it. Just give it a quick flick on starter. Yeah, can't, can't. can't get to no, can you? 
Just get a, get a flick. Just make sure it'll not start. Well, well it might start. Just make sure that's straight back off it again. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. See if we can do out. It went down a little bit. I've got to try and get that open. Huh? I think, yeah, it did it. Oh, can't get bolts lined up though. Let's get bolts go. These, these are red hot, these are filters. Burning my bleeding hands. Let's try that other bolt. This is going to be a tricky one. Is. Oh, got it. It's entered anyway. They don't have like a, an advance on these, do they? No, like if it if it's one click out or something. Yeah. I want to fought it anyway. That's tight. That's tight. The mothers are tight, aren't they? I use you for front of a pipe on first, so have you got enough room to I get think around? It, yeah, I think it's enough. Oh, that's turning on a lot. Was that little one? Is that it? Yeah. No, nope, next one up to that one. Let's see. No. Must be that one. Well, I'll put this one on back in because it's a better fit. No, it's too big for that. What size is that then? Three quarters. Oh. Turn that one tight. It's only on a rubber o ring anyway. Yeah, it's on brass and all, don't we? Yeah. Can't get this one off. Right, was that thing on there? Oh boy, if that, can you get it? Do you want me to slacken this a bit while it lines up, while it enters in? It's not three quarters of the 17. Right? 17 no room. Can't get on it, mate. Cameras in there. <laughs> Things we do for YouTubers. Oh, that's it's turning out what again? Oh, no, it's not. Got to keep jabbering. It don't feel tight like yet. Could be grabbing a bit of air. Oh, that's it, it's tightening up now. It's nipping up that. That's tight. I don't know if they're conceals more than this. It's got these look there, like. It's got a bigger stroke on it now than what it had when it was in my hand. Oh, ah, we'll nip that. We'll get a gun on it. Got diesel there anyway. See what she fires up like.
Oh, well, watch camera when you shut the door. Yeah, look at this today we joined for I don't know if you can see them up there sheep up on edge I don't know where they've come from I think they'll soon piss off when they hear noise look at him right up there on edge I don't know if you can see it on camera not Santa they could quite easily fall from there why do they do that
Oh, you can't even see them. Yeah, look, these are nice and clean, but roof's still leaking. Not our problem, I'm afraid. They got told. We explained to them that it'll go rusty if it gets any water on it, but they're just to crack on because what they're wanting to do is uh, to see it structural. They just wanted to see all giants, make sure that all um, like welds and that. It looks a bit shadowy, but it seems it's going to be nice and clean. Look at this. Just take us to a bit of a water fight feature. Oh well. Anyway, we're, uh, we've done all that side now. That's all done. We're actually at... Uh, ashes on that bit down here. I've got this one to finish off me. Where am I? I've got that one to finish off here. Oh no, filming it wrong thing. That one, that one, and then the little snappers in there. Oh, we've got that head of there, that leg. Oh, let me see what piece of there. These are probably the easy things to be fair. Not as bad as what they've been. There's some nasty ones, right? Them downstairs were really nasty. Let's put water on them. No gold. No gold. Um, ash should be done today, I think. I think it's Ash's last day. So he's gonna be, he's gonna get to the other. Now I'm gonna finish undersides of his off. I'm gonna do undersides of mine. Oh, look at that water feature now. Lovely stuff. Anyway, so on the sides of that one, on the sides of that one. Oh, shine light up there. On the side of that. This leg. I've probably got two days left on it, and this is going to be last, last at there. Ash's last day. It's Good Friday, isn't it? I'm tomorrow, so I'm going I'm to work it, I think, just to get it out of the way. Anyway, let's crack on. Yeah, I got round to fit in that. Still need to draw a couple of holes in the bottom here. But it's uh all holes fit nice and neat. We need to get this end here so we're running on this little pipe and then forward on it here because that's all I've got. Just need to get a nice old thing to fit into that.
Oh, that's a bit far. Pulled it a bit too much there. This is what we did at start. Then ones go over there. Go all the way down there. So we'll see if that's there. Yeah, they've gone rusty because of water coming through, but like I said, there's nothing we can do about that. Django Lane is normal that he wants to be on video. Hmm. He's down there. Right, run the pup stairs. Oh, I'll film these ones while I'm going. Friends now. Ground level. We've got that wall. But the end of the one's knocking off. Underside of that stone. Into there. I'll watch render. 
So all that one's knocking off. That brick will come up nice. This here one's doing. These stone steps. All this stair, oh, that's just stone. It's a bit of render towards the top. About, well, to there. So we've still got this spiral underside of the steps. Window reveals. That bit knocking off. That's render as well, it looks. Um, just more stone cleaning and brick cleaning. Yeah, of course. Please take care on the stairs. So this is just a quick clean, bit of knocking off to do. This is going on to the third floor. Same again, a bit more render. Might get a bit blaster, I don't know. Not get that with the blaster though, that looks solid, that stuff. It's just a clean, just a quick clean really. That's looks like concrete, cement that, so that's gonna be a little bit hard to knock off. This is third floor, same again under. And then going up to the fourth. It's getting a bit easier as we're coming up. And that's where that stops. Right, we're on fourth floor now. Just a quick clean up here. And then I've knocked out here. Don't need to do that out there. Ooh. Don't need to do that in there. The beams we've done, that's gone back rusty again. It's gone rusty with all damp water and everything coming through. But to be fair, they only wanted these steels cleaning up so that they could um, see actual strength on them because they wanted to know all joints and stuff and see what rivets are and bolts. Just wanted to see all that lot, so we've done all every structural steel in here. Everything. Posts. There's a bit of a problem down on this back end somewhere down here. And I've just gone just gone surface rust on them. But there's all these little ones here that go across. In fact there's two on them. There's one there and one there on every run. Same again at that side, two on that. And then there's four big, no one, two, yeah, four of them. I don't even know how many I've blasted. Been here ages. But they're nice, well, they were nice before it rained in. Well, anyway, all the scales off them and they can see what, they can see what needs to be repaired and what doesn't need to be repaired. repaired. I'll show you what uh, I've seen that's pretty bad. Um, these these endings here, these little helper ones, these small ones, on ends, or ends that last three, so ends are one, two, three, they need looking at. Um, they need, tops of them need looking at, because it's gone a bit thin on them. If it, there's not much steel left on them. Uh, there, that, that one's all right. That looks alright, everything looks alright. It's this bit that's getting a bit na a bit naughty now. These are bits that need to have a bit of attention. So there's that middle section there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's a bar here somewhere. That's That needs some attention. And that one does on ends, just on ends on them, where it's joining either side. And then this one's got a bit of a problem. That looks alright to be fair. In fact, just on, on ends, on that little bit there, about two inch in, that just needs a look at because it was quite heavy in scale. But that one's got holes in it. So the one above, this is for client this. The one above this door, this fire exit door, 
that little helper beam there, that, that's probably no good at all, that one. That, well, I'd say that that needs replacing altogether because it's got big holes in the middle on it. Um, the rest on them will call it. So, insides of there with a randomly knocked a brick out to have a look at the other side, we've cleaned them up and they look all right. So I'll stay at these big steels look all right. Fair size like, there's a load of mate left on them. But uh, fair old job that like. Hey, right, I'm gonna have a look around and see if I've left out. Now, if you're wondering, this is what I want to call it, access point. So we came up through there, out that staircase we've just been up. And we've been using this loading bay with telehandler there. He's had it for us. Great bit of kit. Proper nice bit of kit, that's helped out loads that. I think we've got everything off the scaffold in here. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Django! Hey up cocker! Yeah, I think we've got everything. Yeah, we're done.